Hello and welcome to the 16th video in the Weather Unlocked series where we're going to talk about snow and ice reports. Snow and ice reports are very important to the National Weather Service. They help provide ground truth information. Whenever winter weather is occurring, we don't have a very good way of determining what is falling or how much has fallen until we really get those reports in. These reports help fill in data gaps. We may have several reports in the cities. However, we really need those reports outside of cities as well, especially rural areas, so we can help put together a picture of what's occurring. This is also important to help compare what actually happened to the forecast so that we can go back, take a look, see what worked well, what did not work well, and help us out for future events. And this also helps with the long-term climate records, going back, looking at, at events have occurred over the past, and seeing how that compared and if any type of snowfall records have been broken. Now when we talk about measuring ice, it's important to remember the difference between measuring ice on flat surfaces, such as roadways or maybe a, a back deck railing, or some steps versus ice that accumulates on radial surfaces such as twigs or tree branches or uh, power lines. So when we're measuring on flat surfaces, uh, use that ruler and really measure the ice accumulation to the nearest tenth of an inch. Anything below a tenth of an inch is reported as a trace. When you're measuring on those radial surfaces like a twig or tree branch, you want to measure the thickness of ice that's on each side of the branch and then take an average of those two measurements to get the total ice accumulation. When we talk about measuring snow, there are several steps you want to take to really provide, uh, help provide an accurate snowfall measurement. And that includes first just gathering the supplies. Um, it's great if you could find either some sort of a, a board or uh, maybe a piece of plywood, something that's, that's you know, if it's white, that, that would work out good because it um, helps, you know, not have so much influences from any type of sun that occur, sunshine that occurs during the day. So take that whiteboard and put that out there uh, kind of in an open area, and you also want to kind of have maybe a, a little flag to mark near it, and then you're going to want a ruler. When you kind of plan the area where you want to put these items, think about staying away from tall objects, trees, uh, buildings, uh, but she also wants to be sheltered from the wind. You want to set that snowboard up uh, preferably before snow starts. Uh, maybe you have a field or an open area that's not too far away. Set that board out and put a, a market, you know, with a, maybe a flag. Now when you measure the snow, you want to always uh, measure the snowboard and record your total to the nearest tenth of an inch. Now you, after you take a measurement, you want to wipe the board off so that you can measure any additional snowfall. And if you're able to measure you know, once a day at the same time, uh, that would be very helpful. And after measuring, you know, place the board on top of any remaining snowfall. Now when the snow stops, you know, measure that as soon as possible to avoid any uh, lower totals due to maybe some melting, settling, or drifting that occurs. Now when you have your snow and ice reports, uh, we definitely appreciate that information. As we stated, it's very important. So there's several ways that you can send this information to us. One way is by phone. You can call or text in those reports. You can email those reports to us, and you can also send those reports to us on Facebook or Twitter. We have a website listed here, and this website's also linked on our homepage that for different types of storm reports, including winter and snowfall reports, that you can select the report for snow or ice, and then click your location, and that will send that report directly to us. Another option is utilizing the MPing app. 
We're going to walk through the MPing app, which can be downloaded uh, either on the Google Play Store, the App Store, um, for your, your phone. You can basically select a certain report type, snow or ice, and then you also kind of pick your location. And it'll allow you to select your location, and then you can hit Submit Report. And this report information is automatically sent to the National Weather Service very quickly, so we're able to see what type of winter weather is occurring at your location. And this is very helpful. Another excellent program is called COCORAS, and we utilize COCORAS reports which are, uh, Coco Ross are observers that measure snowfall and rainfall daily. This is a free program. Uh, it's a great NOAA sponsor program that you can go in and, me and measure. Uh, if you're really interested in this, please visit CocoRoss.org. And this snowfall and rainfall data even goes to the National Weather Service here very quickly, and we're able to see and utilize these reports. So that's the end of this video on snow and ice reports. Um, here's a, a quickly a, a reminder way to kind of get a hold of us here and, and get those reports to us. Please stay tuned for additional videos and thanks for watching.